So I spent the night in the camper organizing. Here's how I get into it. <laughs> I have a wall here and it's a little too short to go down, but you know, put the feet out and it's really pretty stinking sturdy. <laughs> so it makes a nice little bridge. So today I put up a lot of command hooks. So we have one for the broom and the broom is from the dollar store. So you get the handle for a dollar and then you get the broom head for the dollar and then you get a mop head with replaceable pads. Replaceable pads are a dollar and the mop head's a dollar. So you can just like screw it on and off and I have to have two sticks. So that's the first one. And next I got some command hooks. So a place to hang jackets. Um, I'm outfitting this basically to expect two people in at a time. If more people come in, we figure it out. The next thing I did was I hung up my sound bar because the TV speakers suck. The picture's not so bad, but the speakers suck. So I got this $30 sound bar at, um, well, I think I got it at Menards and it's not a Bose, <laughs> you know, it's not anything fancy, but it's a lot better than what's on the TV. So the only bad thing is where it screws in, it's literally just this board but it's really light, so it should be okay, but I really won't know until the first time we're going down the road if I need to get some different kind of screws or something. Um, the next thing I did, so the light in here, it's all these little puck lights on the ceiling, and they give some good light, you know, even for the pantry, but if you're watching TV or these things are really bright, or you got some off and you're like, hey, I want a snack, it's dark. So I got a motion activated light. Now I can see, and I know it's dark up there and it's dark down there, but it comes off. It's all on by a magnet and you can just, I need my coffee or some pots and pans or cat food and then you can put it back on. But another cool thing about it is it has this little dude so you can recharge it. You don't have to put freaking batteries in it. And then once you close the door, after about 20, 30 seconds, it goes off. Ta-da! So then the next thing I did, <clears throat> I took off the little mesh nets and set up a little homey area. So I'm debating if this is something that I'll put away for traveling or if I'll put up some kind of bar, like a pressure bar so it doesn't come out. I haven't decided yet, but it'll take two seconds to put it away if I decide. Then I got this basket to organize our card games, various wires, um, my remotes. And then I have a little pl wood plaque thing in here with a nice saying on it. Some seashells I can put out when I'm traveling. A little knitted puppy. Somebody made for me. Old camera. And got that all set up. <clears throat> so this basket, it's it leans down. So I put this board in here. I'm probably going to screw it down and then put some heavy-duty Velcro on it in the bottom of the basket. So then I can leave it in there. We can pull it out if we need it, but I could even leave it in there for travel. This cabinet is basically my travel cabinet. It's like where I put things that I don't want to fall around when I'm traveling and I take out. So that, like that skull there goes in the bedroom. And then I also keep some games down here and a candle. There is another game, but right now it's doing double duty, holding up my security camera. Another thing I got for organization is this dude. It's a little cubby, hangs up on three hangers and fits in here pretty much perfectly. There's like a couple inches left and you still have all kinds of space at the bottom for storage. So a good place to put shoes or if other people are coming with you, like the kids, they can put their clothes there. So there's that. Then the next thing I did, I'm gonna squeeze through because I don't have the slide out, but that's cool because my R-Pod, you don't have to have the slide out, be able to use the whole thing. <clears throat> in the shower, I put up a couple more crayon hooks for puffs. And eventually I need to get to this guy. I need to take out the pressure regulator and get a different shower head because we took it off because my son took a shower in one day and just did like a hose because that was the best way to get any water. So this thing's kind of awful, but we'll fix that. And, um, that's really about it. I went and just made sure everything was all snug and where it needs to be so that when we're traveling, it's not moving. And then in this cabinet, I already had these baskets in here, but I had them turned long ways this way. 
and things were just falling because as they shifted forward and back from breaking and taking off. So I was like, oh, if I turn them sideways, they should hold up. So that should be good. And here's like extra tissues. There's a basket in the back for just extra random stuff. Um, the top shelf, top drawer I use for toilet paper, a little stinky pod and some wipes. This drawer, I need to get fixed when I take it for warranty work because it sticks against something when you're pushing it in. But I just keep my paperwork in here, my cat's leash. Um, I got some other vacation books I'll probably throw in here. So this would be like the manual drawer until I actually need extra space. Under here is my trash can. Um, under the sink, I have another trash can. So we have, since they're so small, we have two. Um, and that's about it. You know, bedroom's all made up. And this little table here we take outside when we get camped. It uh, has four blankies in it for outside. It makes a nice little table. So that's about it. And I still got a ton of storage space that I don't use because I like to travel light. Um, under the bed, ugh, I got a bag that has a whole nother set of bedding and two pillows. So if anybody comes with us, we can make a bed for them on the fold down couch. And then that's my camping bag. So that bag has hammocks in it. Um, bug nets, tarps, anything you would need to camp. So if we do bring the kids with us or even a couple of adults and it's nice out and there's some trees to string it up in, um, they can lay in that instead of on the couch, which actually is not uncomfortable, surprisingly. And so there's my kitchen. This is really the only thing you can't use in the slides in is the microwave, but I'm not on shore power, so it doesn't matter. Um, got an extension cord. So I can have my coffee pot over here where there's a little extra space, plates and everything. And then there's the couch and a neighbor who I've never talked to before, but I've lived here 13 years, brought me this yesterday. Isn't that so cute? So we're all organized. I just have a couple of minor little maintenance things to do before I take it out again on April 3rd. But, you know, I'm really happy with the setup and... Like I said, we'll see how things like this and that go when we're going down the road, but and make adjustments as we need them. But that's the inside setup of my RPOD 202 2022 model. Thanks.